Hi everyone, it's Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a booktuber recommendations book haul. So I have been through a ton of booktuber recommendation videos, so I hauled them all and I'm gonna tell you about each book and why I got it. So let's get into it. So I actually bought an entire series. Um, it is the Disney Twisted Tale Collection. Basically what these books are is they take classic Disney tales and they twist them all up and make them something we've never heard of before. Twist them up, they're a little scary at times, but here are all the ones that I got. I have Part of Your World. This one is about what if Ariel had defeated Ursula and it is by Liz Braswell. I have Conceal Don't Feel. This is about what if Anna had never met Elsa. This is by Jen Catola. I have Mirror Mirror by Jen Catola. This one is about what if the evil queen had poisoned the prince. This one is This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim and this is what if Cinderella had never tried on the glass slipper. This one is Straight Till Morning by Liz Braswell and what if Wendy had traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook. And I also got this box set that comes with the first three tales old as time and it is what if Belle's mother had cursed the beast and it is by Liz Braswell. I got A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. This is what if Aladdin had never found the lamp. And then Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. This is what if Sleeping Beauty never woke up. And then I also got Reflection. This one is what if Milan had traveled to the underworld by Elizabeth Lim. I think this one sounds really cool a really cool take on it so i got all of this collection i think they're gonna be super fun read um they're all about 300 pages there's a couple of them that are about 500 so i think they're gonna be really quick reads but they just seem like a cool adaptation of the disney films that we know and love so the next thing i got is after by anna todd i read a good portion of this when it was a wattpad story but i have not read it as a published version and a lot of my friends have said that it's kind of different so I got this. I'm excited for this one. The next one I got was The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This story is about a village who has a witch that lives in the woods and every year they sacrifice a little girl to the witch thinking this witch is so mean and evil but they want her to protect the town. They think the only way to get this witch to protect the town is to sacrifice a little girl to the witch and the witch kills her but in reality this witch is super nice and she actually helps these little girls. She feeds them starlight and then she sends them across to the village over to go and live. Well, this particular little girl, she was given Moonlight, so she has all these witch powers now and we're kind of following her story. I thought this was gonna be a super cute read, so I did end up getting it. I think it's gonna be a very like fall Halloween-y read, so I'll probably wait to read it until then, but. The next one I got is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstein. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, please correct me. So this book is about a magical circus that just appears anywhere and everywhere overnight. Nobody knows where it's gonna end up, but it appears and it's popping. And basically, we're told we are following the story about these two magicians that work in the circus who are head to head and they just really want to be the head magician. I think that's going to be a good read. I've heard fantabulous things about this story. There are people that are just obsessed with it, so I'm excited about this. The next one I got was American Royals by Catherine McGee. This story follows what if one of George Washington had started a monarchy instead of a democracy. And basically, if we're following his great however many grandchildren and we're following the princess who is going to be the first female on the throne and we're following her story and then a whole bunch of other people's story and i've heard so many good things about this book so i got that one the next one i got is one of us is lying by karen mcmahon's this story is about four kids who go inside of detention after school when they come out someone's dead and basically we're just following this mystery novel on how the heck did this dude die. The next one I got is The Empire of Dreams by Ray Carson. I've been really trying to get into fant fantasy fiction and kind of medieval goddesses and stuff by something that's kind of uncharted territory for me. So I'm excited to read this one and give it a try. So the next one I got was Her Crown of Fire by Renee April in this feel of this cover is beautiful. It's like that velvety, feeling I'm upset. But this book is about a girl who was in her senior year of high school. She was just kind of hanging out, having a good time. And then she realizes, OMG, I can play with fire with my hands. So we're just following her story on how she can control fire. And I've heard fantastic things about this book. So I'm so excited for it. The next book I got was The Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Culligan. We are following this young girl who is a literary matchmaker. She works at a bookstore and she matches people with their perfect books. And then she decides, you know what? I'm gonna buy a bookmobile. So she buys a bookmobile and we are following her story through helping people 
find the right books and might find love around the way, which I'm all about sappy love stories, so I'm excited for that. The next one I got was The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I have never read this book. I've heard fantastic things about it. I know Haley in Bookland over on her channel. This is her favorite book. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna have to try this because it sounds like it's gonna be really good. So I'm gonna read that. Also on the topic of the Holocaust, I also got Night by Ellie Whistle. Weasel? Weasel. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, someone yell at me. This book, we're following a girl who is inside of a concentration camp and we are kind of following her story and kind of how innocent families were put to so much death. So the really cool thing about Knight is we are following someone's actual what happened to him at a death camp and I think that's pretty cool. I've actually never read it. It's only about 100 pages but it'll be a nice quick read especially because I love the Holocaust book. The next book I got was The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. So basically in this story we were just following this group of friends who really likes ghost hunting and you know it's Saturday night and they're going ghost hunting and so as the time goes on we are experiencing fun exciting ghost hunts that slowly turn more mysterious and more dark than we could have ever imagined so i actually heard of this book from a girl over at pastel pages she said it was a super cute quick read so i'm excited for this the next one i got was the big shop at pumpkin and spice by donna kaufman and kate agnall I think this is going to be such a cute story, y'all. So basically, this story is about a little bake shop that this girl works at, and it is Halloween time. I have an, everyone's having a great time. It's fall time. They are making all these treats for all these kids, and it's a love story, and it just... Oh. I'm so excited for it. It's gonna warm my soul. I can already feel it. The next one I got is A Case for Jamie by Brittany Calvaro. I'm excited for this book because the last sentence of the back is someone wants to see both of them suffer and the other one dead. So that already had me hooked. I heard a couple booktubers talk about this and they said it was very good. So I'm excited to try this one out. The next one I got was Things Are Do When It's Raining by Marissa Stapley. It's said for fans of Nicholas Sparks and I enjoy Nicholas Sparks books so. So basically this book is about this girl who lives in New York. She has her own apartment. She is so, so, so successful. But one morning she wakes up and she finds her fiance gone and the only thing she can think to do is to move back home with her parents. So there she finds love and it's just excited. I'm a sucker for any sappy teen romance. The next book I got is Ready Player One by, who's it by? Ernest Klein. I watched the movie to this book. I really liked it. I have not read the book, but I'm weird in fantasy. I have a hard time getting into fantasy, but this is kind of like a real world fantasy. So I think I'll be okay. It is the year 2044 and the world is an ugly place. Teenager Wade really feels alive when he is in the Oasis. And the Oasis is this virtual reality world that pretty much everybody lives in. There are competitions there. They open up this huge competition where you have to find clues throughout the game and he teams up with a couple people and they open up a lot of secrets about this company, about the world of the Oasis. And this just seems like it's gonna be such a good read. I have To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, this book is about this girl who writes love letters to anyone she's ever loved. A friend, a crush, a boyfriend, she writes a love letter to them and she keeps them to herself. Well, somehow these letters get mailed out and everybody has them now and her life changes forever. And I think this is gonna be such a cute, heartwarming read and I'm excited. So the next book I have is She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. This book is about this girl who her teenage, her teenage and child years were filled with sitting in front of a TV watching TV, which causes her to be extremely overweight as an adult. So this we just kind of follow her story as an overweight adult. And I think it's gonna be such a good read because I personally can, I personally can understand that situation. So I'm excited to see what she brings up in this story. Next book I have is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Basically this book about is, is about four friends who are all liars. And that's it. So I'm excited. The next book I have is I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kilesh. And this book is about this girl and the only thing she lost is her engagement ring. And you are not supposed to lose your engagement ring. So basically, she loses her engagement ring at a hotel and she finds this phone in the garbage can and she was like, mine now. And apparently this phone belongs to the hotel's owner and the hotel's owner is not a fan of the fact that she took his cell phone out of the trash can so we are just kind of following their love story and it is going to be such a cute read and i'm excited the next book i have is the city baker's guide to country living by louise miller so this book is about this new york pastry baker she is high class she makes all these expensive treats and she moves to the south 
because that's what you do when you have a great job in New York. Apparently all these girls want to move to the South. So that's what she does. And then she falls in love at this little bake shop and it just, it's going to be such a cute read. I'm excited. The next one I have is Lori Graham talking as fast as I can. I actually got this recommendation from Pastel Pages. It is the Lori Graham. And this is the autobiography. This is the audio biography of Lauren Graham. She played on the Gilmore Girls, and this is really just her autobiography about the Gilmore Girl days. So I think this is going to be such a cute read, especially for the Gilmore Girls readathon. So that's what I have. The next book I have is an anonymous girl by Gender. Wow, gender. Next, I have an anonymous girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pierkin. This book is about this professor who decides he's going to do this experiment and he asks all these people different questions. So, this girl comes in, answers all the questions, and it kind of unravels her mysterious background that involves mystery and murder and thrillers. And it's just going to be such a good read, and I'm so excited. The next book I have is The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Potos. This book is about this family who has the power to see when they're going to die. When you you're young you will see when you are going to die and her grandmother passes away in a way that isn't how she sees it so now they think they have this power to change how they're going to die so we are following their story and how they try to figure out how to change that next i have ink by alice broadway look how beautiful this cover is like do you see that it is beautiful so this book is about a girl who lives in the future some way ways off so basically as significant things happen in your life they appear in your body in the form of a tattoo and at the end of your life your family gets your tattoos in a book so they kind of have all your life experiences in a book when leora's father dies she is not allowed to have his tattoos because of this tattoo he had on the back of his neck so he can't she can't have it and she's kind of trying to unravel his story trying to figure out why she can't have this because she wants her father's story so we're kind of following her and i'm excited to read this i think it's going to be so good it's actually a pretty short book but i think it's going to be pretty good next i have the sky without stars by jessica prody and joanne rendell so basically to sum this story up we're in space it's a love story we have princesses and pirates and traitors and it's just going to be a really fun time and i'm excited to read this i've heard great things about it next i have the opposite of always by justin a reynolds so this story i'm just going to read you the back because i know you're going to fall in love with it the second i did jack and kate meet in a party bonding until sunrise over their mutual love of fruit loops and their favorite flicks jack knows he's falling he's falling hard soon she's meeting his best friends and kate wins them over just as easily as she did jack but this love story is complicated because kate dies and their story should end there yet kate's death sends jack back to the moment they met and kate's there again beautiful radiant kate healthy happy and charming as ever jack isn't sure if he's losing his mind still if he has a chance to prevent kate's death he's gonna take it. Either that means believing in time travel, but when a choice he makes turns deadly for someone close to him, he has to figure out what he's willing to do and let go to save the people he loves. This book sounds so adorable, and I really think this is something we all struggle with when we lose somebody we love, we want them back, so I think this is going to kind of really tamper into that, and I'm excited for this one. So as you guys might have known from my ramblings before, I really love fictional historical fiction. I think it is something that it's kind of hard to get into, but once you get into it, it's awesome. I've always loved fiction and I've always loved history. So it goes together. So this book is about a couple of women who have the power to heal and we are set in the Civil War South. I'm excited to read this book. I think it's going to be such a great read. So so my next two books, um, it came from a subscription box I subscribed to. My fiance opened them up already, but I'm still going to show them to you. They come from justbooksbox.com. I got this little card. The little card just says, hey, stay at home and read. And then it just tells you what you got. So the first book I got is Faking Normal by Courtney C. Steves. I did not pick these books. They just sent them to me. And the next book I got was Delusion Road by Donkiner. Donkiner? Don Ackner. Oh my god, it's two words. Anyway, <laughs> this book is about which delusion is more dangerous, the lies we'll tell each other or the lies we tell ourselves. This sounds fantastic and I'm excited for that. I believe I subscribed to this for $7 a month, so two books for $7 and they're really good condition. I'm excited for that, so... And the next book I got was my book of the month, which my fiance also opened. Um, it comes with this little book that just, just says book of the month, East 1926. So you just get this little book. So there's that, you get this little thing. But I picked Elizabeth Wetmore Valentine. This book is about a small town in Texas who is rocked by a murder. 
and we're kind of just following the story of her murder and everything it opens up so i think that is going to be such a good book i think mystery murder thrillers are really good reads it's 10 bucks a month and 10 bucks for this book i'm all about it and a really cute thing about this book of the month is they get their own covers in the little corner here it shows you the month and on the back it shows you the month as well and then if you open and take off your dust jacket you have your own special hard copy with in the corner it will say april 2020 so it's like your own little calendar of when you got your books so that's pretty cool i think that's it <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video there was a lot of books here i'm excited to read them my next video is going to be a tbr because i have a lot of books and i have a lot of books i want to read in may i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it you should give it a thumbs up and you should subscribe to my channel for more of me and i will see you guys next time bye